I want it that way. Okay, Sam, so you're saying you opened the puzzle box and something came out of it. Well, that's not good. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Do you hear that? For this doll, I'm combining two of my favorite horror franchises together, Saw and Hellraiser. For a little backstory, the Saw movies are about an unconventional serial killer named Jigsaw, who uses elaborate traps and puzzles to test his victims and give them a slim chance of survival. He is a charismatic leader and essentially forms a kind of cult around his ideals, so that his legacy lives long after he dies. Which, spoiler alert, he does. Hellraiser is about a group of demons, these hell priests called Cenobites from another dimension, who are summoned by humans through a mysterious puzzle box. The Cenobites don't serve humans, they operate on their own laws, and once you've summoned them, they won't let you go. Damn, this is some scary shit! My idea behind this was, what if when John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, dies, he is recruited by the Cenobites because they admire his imagination when it comes to devices of torture and the transformation through said torture. For Jigsaw himself, I used this spare body I found on AliExpress and this face sculpt of Tobin Bell, who plays Jigsaw, that I found on eBay. This wheelchair is a Ken wheelchair, and it goes through some serious modifications itself. I wanted to show off my moth paraphernalia because I love moths. I started out creating this funky pattern based off the cloak pattern I got from Requiem Art Designs on Etsy. For the initial pattern, I wanted to create Jigsaw's iconic red and black coat, but I wanted to make it more opulent, more Cenobite as it were. When people ask what my sewing process is, I answer with... In a word... Chaos. <laughs> so after draping it over the body, I placed where I wanted the arm to be and where I wanted the sleeves to go, and I split that and labeled all my parts. Basically, we're making Jigsaw, but fancier. So the train of his coat is much longer. And the lining is not going to be just a plain red fabric, it's going to be silky, satiny red. I think the Cenobites would appreciate this newfound fashion sense of his. A lot of tape went into creating this pattern. I think I use more tape than paper, honestly. <laughs> Then I had to make a few modifications to make sure it would lay the right way when I actually sewed the piece together. If this looks like a mess, it's because it is! <laughs> I do get very messy when I do my projects. <laughs> then we just iron it flatter than poor Agent Strom after the glass coffin scene. And for the lining, my sister gave me the advice to take the shortcuts that would normally annoy you on human size patterns, like not lining it all the way. Because on doll scale, a full lining would get bulky in parts, so I just did the parts that would show with the red lining.
and I thought that this added a proper Cenobite drama to the entire outfit. I made John Jigsaw a little black jumpsuit um, that would just be a base for underneath the cloak. And when I sewed it all together, this is how it looked. I had to fiddle with the hood a little bit and I put a wire in it to ultimately make it more poseable. It worked really well. This is just a cheap male kind of Barbie body that I found on AliExpress and I'm just giving him the Igor treatment uh, without the hump. I wanted to make him a little more naturally crouched for when he sits in the wheelchair. During the Saw movies, John Kramer is dying of cancer the whole time that we see him. And it's one of the things that kind of spurs him into his mission of rehabilitating people, as it were. So I wanted to make the body in that kind of hunched over crouched position like he's just kind of molded himself into the wheelchair. And then I put together this little ball and socket joint for his neck so that it could actually be able to move and look up and down and sideways and turn. And I put that together and afterwards I sculpted over the body so that none of the nasty seams and hot glue would show. I just went over it with air dry clay and that worked really well because it kept it nice and lightweight as well. And I tried to make it as natural looking as possible, but this time I didn't bother painting underneath um, on the body because I couldn't be bothered. And that's the whole cloak. I'm very happy with how it came out and I think it's very jigsaw but fancy. So last time on my Sam video, check it out if you haven't watched it, I used my leftover Millie putt to create um, Billy's face. Uh, Billy is the doll that Jigsaw uses to kind of inform people of the rules of his game um, so that he can remain anonymous for as long as possible. He's got this creepy little face, he's got a mouth that moves, so I figured out a mechanism to actually make his mouth move, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I want it that way. Ah, oh, chills. Literal chills. So I did the body and the clothes off camera because it involved a lot of just hot gluing. I didn't bother sewing it. It just made my life easier. Then I covered the back of his head with warbla um, so that it was black and it wouldn't show through the hair. And then I just hot glued his hair on top and I got onto painting, just like John did. I did the rest of his face off camera, and I'm very happy with how he turned out. He's just as creepy as life-size Billy. The wheelchair gave me some difficulties because I was trying to figure out how to make it incorporated into the rest of the design and make it a little more cenobite with being kind of a, a holy... Uh, part of his costume because I was thinking about just having a cloth back for it and it was boring so I stepped away from it I went on a walk saw the lovely fall colors and I came back and did some concepts for a kind of backing to a throne um, and I thought because it's he you see him in a wheelchair for so much of his time in the Saw movies, and my favorite one is actually Saw 2, and he's in a wheelchair for that whole thing. I wanted to make it a part of his Cenobite design, where it's not just his wheelchair, it's not a part of his disease anymore, it is his throne, because he has been elevated to a position of great honor among the Cenobites.
And this took me a while to cut out by hand on paper. I think we're going to be here for a while. Each of these sections do represent a certain part of the Saw movies. The spiral is a very prevalent symbol that John uses in some of his designs. Uh, the saw blades on the sides, and then the two chained figures represent Gordon and Adam from the first movie, who were the first saw victims that we see in the movies. So they're quite important. And then the X represents X marks the spot in one of his games. And it also is homage to Saw X that just came out, which I'm excited to see. Haven't seen it yet. Then there are also the jigsaw pieces on either side and the tape that he uses to convey the rules to the players. And I ended up figuring out how to fit it to the wheelchair, um, but to make it so that it didn't touch the wheels and didn't interfere with those. I made two little IV stands because symmetry in religious um, architecture and art is very much a thing. And I also wanted to pay homage to the part in the hospital in Hellraiser where the IV fills with blood. I ended up making little IV bags out of plastic and filling them with resin so that they looked like they were filled with fluid. And it just added a nice little detail. And because Hellraiser involves a lot of chains, I attached the chains from the bags to the back of Jigsaw's hands. So there are no Barbies that look like Tobin Bell, John Kramer. Uh, so I specifically wanted to find a face that was exactly his. So that's why I went on eBay and I found someone who had 3D printed this face of his. And it's a really beautiful sculpt. Like it's got so much detail, all of the, the wrinkles and the hair. It's really great. Um, and it was really easy to make look like John, um, but just more demonic. So the Cenobites have this bluish white skin, very pale, very dead looking, and they have black eyes, which are very hypnotizing. And I think it works really well with his face as well, because his face has become so iconic in the horror world. I did initial dark blues um, for shadows, and then I went over his hair with a very, very pale tan color to kind of get that pale blonde hair that he has. And then after that, I went over and dry brushed with some white just to bring out the highlights. I went back and forth between darks and lights um, just to make sure that there was enough dimension in his face to make him look a little more uh, realistic. Then for some final details, I added some more darkness under his eyes and in the creases of his lips. The last step was to paint his eyes black, and I'm happy that I remembered to do this because I was kind of dreading having to make his eyes look like Tobin Bills do, I like dreading where to put the iris and everything, but then I remembered, hey, Cenobites have black eyes, so it makes my job a lot easier. It's a quick hack if you are dreading making 
Iris is on your dolls, just make them all black. It's spooky, it's fun, perfect for Halloween. I think he looks suitably like a Jigsaw who has been recruited by Cenobites. I really appreciate all you guys watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and happy Halloween guys, stay spooky. I want to play a game.